Hello and welcome to this channel. In this video we will talk about female and male infertility, the definition, causes, diagnosis and treatment. In the first part of the video we will talk about female infertility, in the second part about male infertility. How do we define infertility? According to the WHO, infertility is the inability to conceive a child after at least one year of having unprotected intercourse regularly. In some sources, it is also divided in the age groups below 35 and above 35 years, as with the age of 30, fertility starts to decline in women. In those sources, Infertility is defined as a woman below the age of 35 years not being able to achieve a clinical pregnancy after six months of unprotected regular intercourse and for women above the age of 35 years as not being able to achieve a clinical pregnancy after one year of unprotected regular intercourse. Infertility can have many different origins and fertility is a very complex topic. For women and men, many factors influence fertility. Those factors include nutrition, weight, exercise, stress, which can be physical or psychological, medications or substance abuse, anatomic anomalies, functional and hormonal anomalies, age and different diseases. To recap the normal process, usually after an unprotected intercourse, the sperm cells are located in the vagina. From there they travel through the cervix and uterus to the fallopian tubes, where an oocyte is located if ovulation occurred. The fertilization of the egg usually takes place in the ampulla of the fallopian tube. From there the fertilized egg divides as it travels towards the endometrium, where implantation occurs. If in any of these structures there is an anomaly, or no egg is released from the ovaries, no fertilization can take place. Infertility can affect males and females, and in the couples counseling with fertility specialists, around 30% are male factor infertility causes, Around 30% are female factor infertility causes, and in around one third of couples, both males and females have a history of infertility. The causes of infertility in women are vast, and to make them more accessible, we usually divide them into different groups. Age is a primary cause of infertility. A woman below or above fertile age is infertile. Also hormone disorders cause infertility. Those include polycystic ovarian syndrome, hyperprolactinemia, hypothyroidism and hyperandrogenism. The next group of causes is changes in the vaginal or cervical secretions. If for example the pH of the vaginal secretions is too low, so too acidic, it will immobilize the spermatocytes and so they will not be able to reach the oocyte. Also by changes of the cervical mucus, for example if it is too viscous, sperm cells will not be able to travel through it and it can either kill or immobilize the spermatocytes. The cervical secretions can be evaluated with a Kramer test, where cervical mucus and spermatocytes are fused in a laboratory setting and the mobility of the sperm and the effect on it by the cervical mucus is evaluated. Also genetic causes can lead to infertility. Those include the Turner syndrome, where women have the karyotype 45X, so one X chromosome is missing. Other causes are diseases or functional disturbances of the reproductive system. This is a large group and includes causes such as endometriosis, uterine fibroids, or congenital anomalies. The last group of causes are iatrogenic infertility. That includes sterilization by, for example, a tubal ligation or hysterectomy, 
chemotherapy or radiation. If you want to know more about polycystic ovarian syndrome, pelvic inflammatory disease, endometriosis and adenomyosis, and uterine fibroids, we have separate videos on those in the gynecology playlist. The most common cause for infertility in women is unovulation, which occurs in around 40% of women struggling with infertility. Failure to ovulate can be due to primary ovarian insufficiency, polycystic ovarian syndrome, obesity, or hypothyroidism. How is infertility in women diagnosed? Diagnosis of infertility is usually connected to a lot of examination and laboratory investigations. Or it is diagnosed when a woman fails to conceive, as we talked about in the definition, or if she, she is diagnosed with a disorder that causes infertility. The first step in the diagnosis of infertility is a thorough anamnesis, which includes to obtain information about the regularity of the menstrual cycle. Also, a physical examination should be done at this point. Other examinations include the cytology of the vagina and cervix, microbiological examinations to detect a possible sexually transmitted infection, examination of the secretions of the cervix to detect changes in the viscosity, a biopsy of the endometrium, a transvaginal sonography, and a hormone profile. In the hormone profile, the hormones FSH, LH, SCG, estrogen, prolactin, testosterone, the thyroid hormones TSH, FG3, and FG4 are checked to find any abnormalities. Also a laparoscopy, hysterosalpingography, and genetic and immunologic examinations are possible. How can we treat infertility in women? The therapy depends on the cause of the infertility. Certain conditions can be treated, while with other conditions there's the necessity for assisted reproduction. We have a separate video on assisted reproduction techniques if you are interested in that. Let's now talk about infertility in males. The most common cause for infertility in men is the insufficient or absent production of sperm cells and a decrease in sperm motility. In many cases, there is a combination of both causes called oligoastenotiratosuspermia. This is usually abbreviated as the OAT syndrome. In most cases, the cause for the OAT or OAT syndrome is unknown, but there are a few identifiable causes. Those are congenital anomalies of the male reproductive tract, such as undescended testicles. Also, infections can lead to infertility, especially the STI chlamydia or the non STI infection with mumps, that often leads to mumps or chitis. Also, endocrine disorders, such as hypogonadism, can lead to infertility. Other causes are the Klinefelter syndrome, a genetic disorder, where men have an extra X chromosome, so the karyotype 47XXY. Also cancers or the medications to treat them can cause infertility. Those include testicular cancer, cytostatics, chemotherapeutics and radiation. Trauma also can lead to infertility. For example, a testicular torsion, which is a medical emergency, and it can damage the testicles permanently. Other causes are a varicocele, which is basically a varicose vein of the pampiniform plexus. In case of a varicocele, the impaired blood transport in the testicle leads to a rise in temperature in the scrotum and so decreases the sperm production. The last group of causes is iatrogenic infertility. This can be caused intentional or unintentional, as in a prostatectomy after prostate cancer or in a vasectomy. How is male infertility diagnosed? To diagnose male infertility, we also start with a thorough anamnesis and a physical examination. 
We can also check the hormone levels to detect a hypogonadism or we can do immunologic tests to detect spermatozoa antibodies. Also genetic testing is possible to detect abnormalities in the chromosomes. The most common test for infertility in men is however the spermiogram. In a spermiogram the ejaculate is examined macroscopically and microscopically. Macroscopic factors of evaluation are the volume, color, odor, pH value and the viscosity. Microscopic factors for evaluation are the concentration of spermatocytes, their motility and vitality, so how the spermatocytes move and how many of them are alive. Also, the morphology should be checked. Spermatocytes can for example have two heads or two tails. At least 4% of normally looking spermatocytes is considered to be a normal value. In a spermiogram, also the number of leukocytes is checked. A value of over 1 million per milliliter indicates an inflammatory process. That's it for this video. I hope it was helpful and if you like our channel, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and hopefully see you again in the next video.